My purpose today is to discuss patterns of sound in poetry. Typically, you'll find three patterns of sound. Alliteration, assonance, and consonance. Their purpose in poems is to provide a sense of euphony, which is to create a pleasing sound, or to draw attention to important details in the poem. I'm going to use Howard Nemirov's poem, Because You Asked About the Line Between Prose and Poetry. Sparrows were feeding in a freezing drizzle that, while you watched, turned into pieces of snow riding a gradient invisible from silver aslant to random, white, and slow. There came a moment when you couldn't tell, and then they clearly flew instead of fell. For Nemirov, the answer to the question, what's the difference between prose and poetry, clearly lies in the music of poetry. One notable sound quality in this poem is alliteration. The repetition of initial sounds in consecutive or nearly consecutive words, or, to get really technical, consecutive stressed syllables. Nemirov uses alliteration several times in the first stanza as a way of providing that sense of euphony. Sparrows were feeding in a freezing drizzle that while you watched turned into pieces of snow riding a gradient invisible from silver aslant to random white and slow. But that music doesn't exist in a single sound. Instead, the sounds blend together to create the sensation that Nemirov feels while he is explaining this difference between prose and poetry. Many of those alliterations are also accompanied by repeated vowel sounds, which teachers call assonance. Sparrows were feeding in a freezing drizzle that while you watched turned into pieces of snow riding a gradient invisible from silver aslant to random, white, and slow. And given that sounds in our language come from the combining of vowels and consonants, we can't leave out consonants, which is the repetition of consonant sounds. Sparrows were feeding in a freezing drizzle that while you watch turned into pieces of snow riding a gradient invisible from silver aslant to random white and slow. There came a moment when you couldn't tell, and then they clearly flew instead of fell. In poetry, patterns of sound are as important as patterns of detail and figurative language. As you listen to the poems you've chosen, See if you can give names to the word music you hear.